Coal and oil, formed over millions of years. This hydrothermal liquefaction reactor does it in two hours. Plant material is mixed with water, pressurized at 100 bar and heated to 300 degrees Celsius. Bio oil, coal, gas and water are then produced. This bio coal contains almost no sulfur. By mixing it with our existing coal, sulfur emissions can be reduced by up to 50%. The biggest environmental um, advantage of this research is that it's relatively clean energy. So if we can replace fossil fuel, fossil energy products with a cleaner product, it means that we can reach the limits that were set by COP21, that were set by signing the Kyoto Protocol. What's more, this coal is even more effective than fossil coal. ESCOM currently uses 118 million tons of coal per year. Replacing it with this bio coal, only 60 million tons will be required to generate the same amount of electricity. Cost benefits could be far reaching. Apart from that, we're sitting now with opportunity to create more jobs because these are this is a technology that can be used uh, regionally and therefore being applied to create new jobs in those regions. The next step is to, is to find an investor that's willing to invest in the, in the technology. Um, the pilot plant is there, so the, it, it shows that the technology works. And now you need someone that's willing to invest on a large scale and upgrade it into industrial scale. Typically, I think companies like Eskom has got a huge advantage to do this, um, or any other investor that's, that's interested. The research stretched over nine years, and the reactor was built at a cost of approximately three million rand. Nicolene Smallman, SABC News, Pochevstrup.